okay so let's continue with our next uh, uh, video in the aws series and so in the last video we have covered aws cognito and aws cognito has two services one is cognito user pool so we in the last video we covered what is cognito user pool so cognito user pool is just basically a sign up sign uh, service where it is going to provide some kind of url where we just uh, access that url and create our account and then do the login so it is basically kind of a database who is going to um like uh, take care of all the users and provide so many features like a password reset multi-factor authentication and so many other things so it's a basically authentication service or you can say the identity service so identity verification who you are or like whoever is trying to access who you are basically uh, which is going to create a kind of user database but in this video, we are going to see the Cognito identity pools. So, so because uh, Cognito has two services, one is because if you come to uh, like AWS console, on the left hand side, you could see user pool and one is the identity pool. Even if you go to the major Cognito, so when I uh, uh, click add user, so when you are adding the user to telling who you are, who you are, like give me your identity or creating some new users, right? So these are like, come under the create user pool and if i just grant the access this from the identity pool so it has two services user pool which we have covered so in this video we are going to cover the identity pool right so what is identity pool so user pool is just to create users account that's it so we are just creating the user account so that whoever is going to access my backend url we should know only the authenticator user is going to access but but let's suppose, uh, let me go to directly jump to the diagram. So let's suppose you have your S3 bucket, you have your DynamoDB table. You want, these are like, these S3 and DynamoDB, where it is? It is in the AWS. And these are the, like some user, you, which are using your mobile or web applications. They don't have any AWS direct access. So they want to access your S3. They want to upload something to your S3. They want to create or delete or, or some kind of operation uh, into the DynamoDB table. So how they are going to perform that? All right. So that comes under the identity pool, uh, Cognito identity pool. So where we are going to, because to access any AWS services, we need the AWS credential. So this identity pool is going to give the access to these users how how they are going to give the access by providing some temporary credentials so how we are going to provide we will see like in this diagram so basically our user sits outside the AWS environment and if they want to access our s3 bucket DynamoDB, so what the service will do is it is going to provide some temporary aws credential and through the cognitive identity pool okay along with that so if you want uh, uh, any user any user, not only uh, uh, those user which uh, which has cognitive user pool, which has created the account, or or maybe which has login using Google, Facebook, but you want any user, even the user who don't even have uh, the Google, Facebook account, or maybe who don't even has created the cognitive user pool account, just a guest user. Like guest is also like one of the option, right? So sometimes you will get option either login as a guest, right? So guest means like I'm just uh, like trying to access your website just as a guest user. I'm, I don't want to create the account. So that is also like uh, provide uh, uh, this facility. If there is any guest user, how that guest user is going to uh, get the access of this these like uh, functionality. Okay, so let me scroll up. So identity pool is basically it's going to provide temporary AWS credential. All right and so what is the purpose this purpose used to provide a temporary credential for user who want to access aws service right along with that let's say you want to allow users use social media to upload photos to our major s3 bucket then identity pool is like uh, helpful how it's going to work so let's see the diagram so so there are like i could i say like multiple users can access so one user is those users which you already created using cognito user pool all right or maybe those user who has google facebook or apple account so basically the sign in facility so first sign in facility or sign up facility is there right so you created 
uh, you provided all the facility either uh, basically on any website you could see multiple option either sign up option so create your account or maybe sign in directly as a google facebook all right so you already set up as part of the community user pool so now you you are a uh, user which sit outside your aws account trying to log in via any method either google facebook or via the account which they have created using cognito user pool so they are trying to they are trying to log in so as soon as they are trying to log in it is going to verify their details right id and password and then they will get some jwt token so now they get some jwt token right okay so now this jwt token is going to pass to the cognito identity pool right because user pool is something different user pool is just to create the account identity pool is to grant the access even if you come here you could come here imagine cognito you could see add user add user is just create user pool and grant access comes under the identity pool so now once you get once you log in using any method either using the account which you created or maybe user google facebook or any method or maybe as a guest as well all right so you will get a some some token right now that token you are going to pass to the cognito identity pool all right so first that token is going to be validated because there could be chances you are getting some token maybe you are uh, modifying the token and you are sending some other tokens so that token also going to be validated so once that token is going to be validated a major cognito identity pool is going to connect with the sts service so there is a, another service called sts service in the aws whose purpose is to provide some temporary credential so it is going to provide you the temporary credential as soon as it will get the temporary credential it is going to pass the temporary credential back to the user all right so once the user will get the temporary aws credential now the user can access the s3 and the dynamo db table or or whatever the aws services now the question is if you we are giving some credentials then user can do anything maybe user can even delete my buckets maybe user can delete my dynamo db table so that's not the case so whenever we are creating the cognito identity pool we are setting up an iam role and within that iam role we are saying uh, like uh, whatever the service is like let's for s3 service so we are giving particular permissions so the credentials which is which is going to be generated based upon that iam role only that particular permission is going to be uh, provided correct right. so this is the basically a diagram so now if you click on the identity pools and you can create create the identity pool so here as i told you with the identity pool you can either grant the access to the guest guest user or the authenticated user as well so let's put the authenticated user so authenticated user means who already logged in so authenticated user via via cognito user pool which uh, you have created or which they have created or maybe the google facebook so let's suppose we have the major cognito user pool which we already created in the last video only those user let's click next now so here is the uh, like uh, thing so you want to create an iam role so let's suppose you we, you we can create an iam role so let's call cognito iam role and click next and then enter user id like uh, which uh, user pool id so i have the demo user pool id and client as well demo app client all right so here so use default authentication role which is fine and click next and we can give like uh, identity pool name give identity pool and that's that like click next so now once you create the identity pool so identity pool like uh, has been failed uh, because uh, identity pool has has been created but with the incomplete configuration okay which is fine because i know uh, the root cause uh, because uh, the account the aws account which i am like using that don't have like uh, access to create an iam role directly so but when i create the identity pool so it 
it has trying to create the IM role. So even though I can attach the IM role later on. So now, so this has been like a great. Now how you are going to use it? So to use it, here is here is some step. So you need if you are using some code. So you need to install your SDK maybe in the Python. You you are using Boto three. Then you you need to authenticate a user. Then you will get the AWS credential. Then you can use that AWS credential uh, to that. So this is the overview which uh, uh, the process like it's given here. So how you can get the access. So this is the ID. So basically uh, you can like uh, ignore this for the time being, even I can delete this because this is like incomplete setup. So I have deleted, but like you can, you can like uh, create an identity pool from here, right? But the overall picture is uh, in the Cognito, which is like authentication and authorization service, there are two services. One is user pool and one is the identity pool. User pool is just to add the user to the user directory. So basically adding the user with the user directory. So once the user has been added into directory, grant them access. So granting the access using the different service that is the cognitive identity pool. And what is the what is the backend process to for granting the access? We will get some token and that token passed to the identity pool. That token is going to validate it. Once the token is going to validate it, it is going to the STS service at STS will pass the temporary credential. Temporary credential is going to pass to the web mobile, sorry, back to the user. Then the user is going to access to the our like uh, S3 or like or whatever the service is going to provide. So that's it. Uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, sorry for that. We can't do the hands on for this, but uh, at least we should know like what is Cognito Identity Pool as a basic understanding. So that's it, that's the end of the video and thank you.